What's the dumbest reply to a serious question you've heard? I was a nanny when I was in college for this very bizarre family who always pretended like I wasn't there. I was walking down the street with the mother and her two kids. It was February and the sun glare was really bad, so naturally I was wearing sunglasses. One of the kids, about four, asked his mother why I was wearing sunglasses in winter, and the mother responds, Well some people are not that smart and they just want to look cool. Please note, both parents were professors at an Ivy League college. I actually remember my mom making a similar snarky comment. We were in the car. Sunny cold winter day. Saw a couple with sunglasses. And she said sth along the lines of I don't get it. People wearing sunglasses in winter. I looked up and said sunglasses protect against the sun. Not the heat. Her face went then like hum. That makes sense. My friend was a second year med student and she was walking through the main floor of our hospital in scrubs. Stopped by a passerby asking for directions. She was asked hey where's the pet city? She said, um, I think there's one in the nearby mall. The man looked at her confused and was like the pet city is in the mall. She replies yeah, like the second floor I think. It's not called pet city though, it called pet world, I think. Do, do you think I am looking for a pet store? Two years of medical education and common sense returned to her in that moment and said oh my god no you mean the scan. It's down that hall on the right I'm so sorry. He shook his head walking away and we heard him say I wish I was looking for a freaking pet store. Was in college and went to the calculus study hall to see if I could learn something. One of the problems was something like a man throws a ball on the moon at a speed of xxxmph at an angle of yy degrees. How long before the ball comes down? The response from the Tay PhD candidate in math. That's a stupid question everyone knows there's no gravity on the moon. I never went back. <laughs> Me writing a construction bid. Is the standard flooring for these units going to be tile or vinyl? The client. Yellow. Love it when you give two answers as options and a third. Unhelpful one pops up instead. In my high school physics class the teacher asked what was the unit for time. This girl screamed kilograms. After that you could see the teacher lost hope on all of us. You measure time in kilograms though. Back in India, my company had hired a motivational speaker to give a speech at an event. There were 300 odd people with senior people of HR also in audience. Everyone was bored but the lady instructor kept on going on how to build self confidence. Sensing that people are not interested she started getting audience involved. I, being a backbencher as always, did not care about it at all. I thought she would stay in front. I was feeling sleepy and not paying any attention to it. After some time I saw her coming to the back. She suddenly stopped next to me and asked me, are you motivated? I was not sure what was going on. I answered, no, I am Dave. Half of the crowd started laughing. She was taken aback by my answer and did not know how to respond to this. She did not come to the back to ask questions after that. When accused of nepotism after giving his son an important role as a politician, Brazil's president said he has to be someone's son. Why can't it be mine? Truly an argument you can't fight back. I mean, what is nepotism re I? It was actually me who said the dumb reply. This was when I was younger, just by the way, texted to me by a friend. Can I take a range check? A few minutes later, I text back. Nope, no rain. I had literally checked the weather for the day. I was a socially awkward idiot. So, yeah. That's hilarious and I can't wait to say it to the next person who asks me for a range check. In physics there's something called the right hand rule which helps you find the direction of force given the direction of the magnetic and electric fields. It's a little hard to explain how exactly, but you literally use your right hand as a model. My professor asked me in front of the class what the first thing you needed to identify in order to use the rule was. I panicked, and answered your right hand. I mean you weren't technically wrong. In law school we had a free clinic for qualifying and lower income people to come in. We couldn't technically advise them because we weren't barred yet, but we could guide and try to help them through some complex issues they might not have a handle on. One guy came in and wasn't even my case but being done by classmate next to me during a session. The man, dead faced and scared, would filing for bankruptcy ruin my life? Girl, flustered how to answer, um, well, 
It looks like your life is already pretty bad. This thread is supposed to be for stupid answers. That one's golden. We were discussing about Anartica and some guy casually said, Stone cold face. You don't actually believe Anartica is a real place, right? Edit. Some PPL think it was a joke. I assure you it wasn't. That sounds like something a flat earther would say. Those that believe that Anartica is actually a wall of ice surrounding everything. Full disclosure, I was the idiot in this conversation but in my early 20s, I was at a friend's small gathering, I was chatting with my friend and some dude I had never met before, asked where he grew up, and he said DC to which I replied oh I didn't realize people actually lived there, I kind of knew it was stupid as it was coming out of my mouth, but I also kind of thought that was a district like a financial district and people went there for work but lived just outside of it. Worst part was that even though I was fresh out of college, I was working in a local political office, and these were folks from state legislative offices, so I should have known better. They laughed at me for a while. At work, a customer asked one of our chefs where the fish comes from. He pointed to the kitchen and said it just comes through that door. I dunno. Sounds like a genius answer to me. I got a former friend a job at my workplace. She was seriously stressing, talking about how if she doesn't find a job, her ex might win the custody case, and take the kids, and she wasn't finding anything. So, I talked to my boss, and got her position doing what I do. One week later she was supposed to go on her first call. She overslept by 4 hours and ended up missing the job. I called her as I was leaving to do the job she missed. I asked, so, are you going to talk to our boss? and see if he'll give you another chance. But she straight up went, I don't think so. Oh well, wasn't meant to be. Girl, what? Side note, I work in the funeral business. The job was taking a body down to get an autopsy. The place where this particular person was getting one was over two hours away. We're supposed to be there at a certain time. Otherwise we spend all day there. I was on a job and we needed to have a structural engineer to come in and look at one of the floors to make sure it was stable enough. So we asked the owner's daughter, who was supposedly a business major who was gonna take over her dad's company, if she had a contact number for the structural engineer her dad normally dealt with when having his buildings renovated. She looks at the three of us, me, my assistant superintendent and project manager, and goes oh yeah, but he's busy working on my car at the moment. All three of us. What? Her. Yeah he's working on my engine in my car. Why do you guys need him? Engineers work on engines not buildings. WTF. This is pretty much busters I think the blue stuff is land from the pilot episode of Arrested Development. Traveling in car down a street looking for a particular shop. Q. So which shop is it? A. The one by the tree. Road is lined with trees. But it's not just any ordinary tree, it's the tree. In school a physics teacher had asked one of my fellow students, who was holding a presentation on nuclear energy, what is the Hadron Collider in Switzerland used for? The response was so outrageously stupid, I was dumbfounded and cannot believe this happened to this day. She also wasn't joking. Nobody jokes with this teacher because no one had ever seen him laugh and he was a douche. To create a second son. Doctor to mom, are you vaccinating your son? About one year, according to the chart I gave you. Mom, better than that, I am breastfeeding him. This was in India last year. Didn't know this was happening in India too. In a high school world history class. Teacher, alright everyone, we will be covering the reformation period. Who knows why Martin Luther was significant? Student, blurting out without raising hand. Martin Luther? Isn't that the guy who freed all the slaves? This one holds a special place for me because it is multiple layers of wrong. I can just see the jumble of loose facts in the kid's head just bumbling around to form a sentence. At the start of 2020, a volcano erupted in Batangas, a province in the Philippines. Affected my hometown which freaking sucked. What does our president suggest doing against the eruption? Give supplies? Help in the evacuation of the people stuck there? Provide relief and support? Number. You want to know the answer? His words not mine. I will urinate on the volcano. Good job president. I was in Tagate about a month after the eruption. 
You'd be in a car looking out the window and see piles of dirt but then you realize that's all just ash that was swept up. It was actually pretty great being there then as a tourist because all the other tourists had cancelled. No so much a question, but my partner's dad is a doctor and also is from India originally, though he's lived in the UK since the 80s. A patient asked if he was worried about Brexit and he said no. He's from India. It won't really affect him any more than it did before since India is in Asia. In absolute seriousness the patient replies. No. India must be in Europe. Asia is where China and Japan are. Hum your partner's dad's answer is a little strange. 2. If he lives in the UK it'll affect him, even if he's not from there originally. Hope this story fits here. I helped a friend, Bob. Get hired working in the back room of a retail store. I was good friends with the manager, Tim, and I would periodically check in to see how Bob was doing. I was a manager as well at the time at a different location. Tim was very pleased with Bob's work ethic and productivity. I talked to Bob and he said he was enjoying the job. After about 5 or 6 months I got a call from Tim asking if I've talked to Bob recently I replied no and asked if everything is okay. Tim informed me that Bob has been a no call no show for about a week and he was worried about him. I immediately called Bob to see what was going on. Bob informs me that he decided to quit the job. In utter dismay and confusion I shout what? Why? I vouched for you. Why would you do that without at least giving me a heads up he replied man every time someone new gets hired they put them with me to train them and that's not my job. Technically he was right it wasn't his job to train new hires but what Bob didn't know his managers did things like this to groom the associate into becoming a supervisor. Gradually giving them more responsibilities over time. They did the same thing with me when I was coming up the ranks. He wouldn't have known this if he had called me before he decided to quit. Once I explained I could hear the wires connecting in his brain. He apologized and asked if he could get his job back. I told him probably not since he left the way he did. Just because it's not your job now doesn't mean it won't be your job in the future. Dang. Out of all the replies here I think this is the one that actually affected the dude's life. Like. Doing or saying a stupid thing in front of people is one thing but this person probably denied himself a better position or pay. Who knows how things could have gone for him if he hadn't done that. I saw a video of a guy asking people what's the hardest thing you've had to say in your life most people replied with sad things. Telling their kids that their dog passed, had to divorce, relative passed, etc. But one guy comes in and says the time he had to say Worcestershire sauce. Sure it was funny, cause he kept on saying it wrong since it was the hardest thing for him to say, but it was such a dumb answer, but still super funny. I used to work a video rental store that has since closed down. First week I work there, a person asked, in store mind you, if we rented out movies. I didn't know what to do, other than just with a stone faced and said yes, of course we do. I wasn't sure if they were serious or not. Working in a video rental store would be great, if it wasn't for the customers. Randall. Asked my ex-boss, alcoholist pose, if he knew how to do X thing on the system and could show me. He replied with yes and went home. Just a yes and left. Stack of a flow viral. A middle school music teacher asked the class why it's called a quarter note. One kid, quite seriously, replied, because they're worth 25 cents each. What an idiot. Everyone knows a quarter tone is actually 50 cents. When I was a senior in high school I was in National Honor Society. And I used to be the lab assistant for chemistry A and help grade tests. We were going over elements and compounds. And the directions asked the student to clarify if the subject was an element or a compound. The teacher threw in pizza as a gimme question, and this guy literally wrote element as his answer. Even worse he was irate when we marked it incorrect. He was the only one in all three classes to get that question wrong. To be fair, I would argue that classifying pizza as an element or compound misrepresents the subject. At school I once asked a group, isn't it weird how we always eat chicken eggs but you never see turkey eggs? Why is that? A girl looked at me like I was a complete moron and replied in a very condescending tone. Ooh, 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 turkeys are male chickens so. 
The reason is that chickens lay an absurd number of eggs and are basically mass produced and super cheap. Turkeys lay way fewer eggs, a larger percentage of which have to go on to become more turkeys, so stores don't stock them by the hundreds of dozens. Back in the day when fax machines were the pinnacle of office technology, I had a co-worker who was standing next to the fax looking distressed. I asked them what the problem was. They responded that they couldn't make a copy of the document because the copier was broken. I said, why do you need to make a copy? They replied, if this is fax then I won't have a copy. It will get transferred through the fax. They actually thought the fax machine was like a transporter in Star Trek. When I was like 5 I wrote a letter to my grandmother and my dad faxed it to her. I was inconsolable and betrayed because he essayed that he sent her the letter but it was still right there in his hand no amount of explaining how faxes work would get me out of daddy you lied mode. <laughs> Teacher in high school asked the class if anyone knew how many feet there were in a mile. Very seriously, a student answered nobody knows that, it's impossible, everyone has different size feet. I remember when they were trying to teach us the US system in 4th grade, I only knew the metric system because I live in another country. I decided to be a smart cookie so I measured my foot in inches to solve the problem. I got it wrong and the teacher had to explain that feet doesn't literally mean your own foot. At hour 9. Grade scene suffer. 9. Grade is the last year before graduation from school industrial Denmark IDK how IT is in the states. However our last science exam went like this. My friend and I were teammates and we had IT going pretty good. So my teacher asked how wind was created and my friend replied. The tree's muscles make them swing from side to side pushing air around us creating wind. Myself. I was crossing the US Canadian border with friends coming back from a weekend trip to drink. US guard asks where we're coming from. Myself being the driver I respond Canada. There were some chuckles and ribbing. I meant and it's an appropriate answer. Astronomer here. Maybe not quite what OP had in mind but it is depressing how many people will ask me a serious question about, say, black holes, head the explanation, and then dismiss it with a yeah but I don't believe in relativity or whatever theory they dislike. Like, okay, I guess you can believe in whatever you want, but the universe isn't going to conform to that in how it works. And it goes without saying that these people have very rarely taken an actual physics class and understand what they're dismissing. They've just read some articles online and think they're now experts. Gravity is a conspiracy to prevent us from walking on the ceiling so that they can sell us more floor. I guess this probably doesn't count as it's more of a dumb question. At work one day I was given a gift from a co-worker. It was a bracelet with silver beads. The beads signified the dots and dashes for Morse code. In Morse code the bracelet design spelled out Frick you. Another girl that we worked with asked me with a straight face Morse code is the same thing as sign language right? Left double quotation mark. Another co-worker who wasn't exactly bright chimed in and said yes that's the exact same thing with the hand signals. I had to leave the room. One time my friends and I were hanging out in his apartment. All of sudden I hear a whoosh and look over at my friend and his hair is on fire. We get it out quickly and I asked him what the heck just happened. He told me, I was trying to listen to the sound the lighter made when I flicked it. I'm gonna guess you guys were smoking. Cause I could definitely see my dumb butt having had done this back in the day. Works in IT. During a meeting at work. Project manager. Okay so how should we name this tension? Silence. Random guy in the back. Susan. Honestly you could have just answered with works in IT. You probably see an applicable answer multiple times a day. I worked at a place that served coffee and ice cream. I asked a customer what she wanted to order and she replied with are your milkshakes cold? From a beauty pageant. Sadly I haven't been able to find it. Q. What are your opinions on affirmative action? A. Well. I believe. We should be affirmative in all our actions. That's a question that's unfair to ask of smart people. In social studies class a few weeks ago, we were talking about the Holocaust and World War II. Teacher asks, what was Hitler after we had just talked about different kinds of rulers, dictators, presidents, etc. And was looking for the answer a dictator. The girl raised her hand and says, I did last night in the textbook that he was a bit anti-semitic. Whole class goes silent. A bit. Just a smidge. 
It was biology and the teacher called this guy, I'll call him Tim, to the board to answer a couple questions for a grade. I'll skip to the point. She asked him how did a horse adapt to his living conditions? He answered with, long nose, strong legs, wings and claws. Don't know if he was thinking about a griffin or a pegasus but it was very funny. I'll call him Tim proceeds to not use names. Well, it was me who answered but, tell me now, how are we going to transport an entire freaking TV that is way bigger than we two combined downstairs, without kiling ourselves said my brother back when he was 17 and I was 12. But to this day I have no idea why did our parents trust us in order to move the TV through stairs. But then, my 12 yo self answered in a completely serious voice, fast and ably, I almost got pushed down the stairs for that. That is the appropriate answer. It was me who was the dummy, my boss, veterinarian, took our office out for lunch, told me, a trailer park college student working as a vet tech to pay for college, that I could order anything I wanted, even the fillet mignon. I responded, no thank you, I don't like fish. Years ago, I was an intern at an insurance agency, one of their most successful agents passed away, but his wife, 50s, glamorous looking lady, was helped through testing, so that one of the other agents could work on her husband's portfolio, but she was licensed. So one night at a company dinner party, I was serving drinks, I heard someone ask her, so, what is your opinion on mutual funds? She paused for a moment, looked at him funny, and said, everyone should enjoy mutual fun. I used to work as a manager and coach, was hiring for a seasonal sales position, and this girl comes in for an interview looking pretty well dressed and eloquent. Halfway into the interview I ask her what her hobbies are and what she liked to do with her time off. Turned out she was a vegan who mentors new vegans. I asked her if she would be comfortable handling leather products. Her, of course, as long as it doesn't come from animals I'm totally fine. Me, but most leather come from cows. Her. But it's vegan right? Apparently she never knew that you could dye leather all colors. She thought cow leather equals white and black. She was carrying a coach bag. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.